I'm very glad to have in the studio Remet Ulai, who's a co-worker here at Fever Radio. Uh, welcome to uh, to the studio, Remet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for making the time for our listeners. So we've got a little, little special, little personal special story from from Remet um, about some things that've been happening the last few weeks. But let's just set the stage a little bit, Remet G. Um, you work uh, here at the Resource Centre, um, and you are a mother of how many children? Five children. Five children. Mashallah. Mashallah. Absolutely lovely. Mm-hmm. Lovely. How old's the eldest? I've got twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, the oldest is twenty-five, and I've got eighteen. Eighteen. And I've got one turn seventeen today. All right, excellent. Well, congratulations. Happy birthday to them. You're welcome. And I've got um thirteen year old and a seven year old. And seven year old as well. I've got to say, you don't look really as if you're over forty years old, <laughs> to be honest, Raymond. Mashallah, mashallah, so, mashallah. May that always Thank remain you. that way. Thank you lovely. for the so, compliment. No, well so can I ask for our listeners um where you were born and where you grew up? I was um originally born from Gambia. Gambia. I'm gone Gambia. Okay, and so. grow up. Gambia a bit, but my part of life I grew up within Europe and America. In Europe and America, all oh, right. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. How long did you spend in uh, America? I was in America for nine years. Did you like it? Oh, of course. Really? Yes. Ah, I, I, I still love it. Really? So, where do you prefer, England or America? Well, I, for right now, I can choose England because this is where my family is at the moment. My children, number one in my life, a part of Allah. Sure. Yeah. So, Alhamdulillah. But still, America is in my heart. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting. Um, and so, how long have you now been living and working in the UK? I've been here all my life. <clears throat> I've been here all my life, in and out. All right. But okay. now, permanent stay in here. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I'm a British citizen. Congratulations! Thank it's not you. not an easy task. Yeah, so, <laughs> I think it took you. me about fifteen years. <laughs> so, so well done. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> okay, now. Um, you came to the Fever, you were, you were in the Fever studios and you were explaining that you were having some issues. Um, what was the problem that you were facing? I was having an um, a ankle swollen a couple, swollen. Of months, couple of months ago and I saw, I made an appointment, I went and saw my doctor hmm. and he was a very nice guy. He told me, um, um the only thing I will advise you is you need to lose weight. Okay. If you don't lose weight, you might have metal on your ankle. Metal? Yeah. Okay. So they're like an operation and they have to put a metal in there. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So just to avoid that, then I came down to fever, you know, ask some question. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, my brother here, <laughs> he gave me some tips. And definitely the tips are working. Okay, thank you. I mean, Alhamdulillah. I, I mean, I, I've got to say, it's just a very, it was a very simple tip, wasn't it? It was only yeah, one tip. Very simple. Um, very. And, and what was it, can I ask you? Um, number one, I asked you, what will you think will help me on my diet? Mm. And you told me to stop, stop drinking milk mm. and dairy. Mm. And I follow your advice, Alhamdulillah, I lost half of stone. Okay, wow. Well. And still now... I'm not with no milk. Hmm. Um, the only milk I use is oat milk, which okay. is, I love it. It's even better than the regular milk. It's wonderful in coffee, yeah, isn't it? It is. And I stopped using diary. Hmm. I, complete, but you know, sometimes you know how women feel. Sometimes <laughs> I, I pinch a little bit in there, but yeah. not, not, not too much. Not, not just then the women. Maybe, maybe it's once in a while, you know. Not exclusive to just women, Raymond. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, because it's hard if you go, if you are used to read something, you know, to stop it automatically. Yeah. It's hard, but definitely, I've stopped diary, hmm. biscuit, um, cakes, wow. and um, how to call it. Um, Fresh milk. So, and one thing I like about it is, um, my kids are getting used to it. Mm. They are following my footstep. Mm. You know, not to drink the regular milk, but drinking the oat milk. Okay, good. Yeah. So, which I'm happy, and definitely I've seen a result. And my doctor also is very, very happy about it. So he told me to continue. Okay. And definitely I'm going to continue to up to my goal that I set. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, the, the, the result is that you've lost half a yeah, half, half, half a stone. stone. Yeah. And also, I mean the swelling in your your ankles, how it's, is that? It's it's getting down. It's got it's down. It's getting quite a lot. down, yeah. And no. have there been any other things that you've experienced? Any other benefits to just this one change? Um, you know, digestion maybe or anything? Yeah, but in, in in those days before I go to bed, when I drink milk, you know, or drink biscuit, hmm. You know, I feel like like an indi- indigestion. 
like because normally I drink it maybe in the wrong time. Like an acid reflux. Acid, kind of thing. yeah. So I'll be having heartburn in a bit, and since I stopped that that reuse also, I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't had it. Mm. So, you know, definitely it's it's working. Okay. Yeah, it's working. So heartburn, heartburn reduced, um, swelling, swelling in the legs, the ankle, yeah. reduced, um, lost weight, lost weight. That yeah. probably the one thing that most people want to identify straight away, <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah. it? So lost, lost weight. weight. Yeah, Anything definitely. Else? I mean, everybody body is different. Mm. Every human being is different. But definitely, the tip that you give me, mm. it's working, and I'm really happy about it and my mm. family happy about it because they follow in the footsteps as well. And have the kids been able, have you seen any benefit for the children? Is there anything that's changed for them? Well, for them, I cannot say they lose weight, they did not because <laughs> they are not on diet. We don't want them to lose yeah, weight. No, yeah, <laughs> because they are full of energy. So, but definitely complex, you know, sometimes I have to stop using my stuff. <laughs> it's expensive, <laughs> but they love it and I'm happy because okay. it's a healthy thing that I'm developed in my house. Mm. Yeah, and I've, I've cut a lot of sweet for them as well okay. and I'm cutting down sugar but for the sugar thing I think we, you will give me a tip about it because I'm using brown sugar at the moment mm. just a bit so I don't know whether it's, that one is good or it's not good but definitely definitely I'm happy yeah. Alhamdulillah yeah well I think you know the the, the, the gur or the panela yeah. the traditional way that they made sugar mm. is probably better than the white sugar the white at the sugar, end of the yeah, day the isn't it but sugar. But then also you can use dates, can't you? Dates. To sweeten things, date sugar as oh, well. Really? It's very I useful. Know that. Yeah, and you get all the goodness of, of the date. Okay. You know, and it's sunnah as okay, well. Right? I know. So. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, um, do you think you'll continue without milk and dairy uh, in the future? Of course, because I set a goal. Hmm. I set a goal till I reach that goal. Hmm. When I reach that goal, then I will see whether I can go back on my. But definitely right now I hate milk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, like if I reach my goal. What do you mean you hate milk exactly? Like why? I mean, I love, uh, because uh, when I taste the oak milk, mm. I said, wow, this is even, you know, right. it's more tasty. Yeah. Than, <laughs> <laughs> it's more tasty than, um, how to call it, regular milk. And if I'm making my coffee, mm. if I brew my coffee, you know, that like, um, uh, how to call it, that white thing that I see on top. The froth. The froth, like, yeah, yeah. you know. I feel like I'm in a restaurant drinking coffee. And oh. with the white milk, you know, I do not have that sweetness and that taste on it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that people should stop it, but for me, definitely it works. Yeah, And yeah. it's worthwhile saying, I mean, yeah. it, it, is, it is expensive about milk generally. Yeah, it is expensive. But you can find it in one or two of the cheaper supermarkets. Cheapest, yeah. Well, it's Shop not around. that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's reasonable. Um, finally, I'd just like to ask uh, ask you, what would you like to say to your listeners about about dairy and and like anybody who's listening out there? What would you like to say to them? Well, for me personally, definitely, I just want to say, anybody want anybody if I can do it, yes, everybody can do it. Mm. Definitely, because I'm a bit eater. <laughs> 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 but if I can do it, anybody can. Everybody can do it. You mm. know, just try for a month yeah. or two yeah. and see how it works. Yeah, but like yeah. I told you in the beginning, like everybody's body is different. Yeah. Yeah, and you have to be strict. Diet also, you have to be strict. You have to ignore. It's not easy, but you have to ignore many things. Yeah. And I'm not going gym because the work I'm doing is enough for my gym yeah. um, but alhamdulillah mashallah mashallah I'm happy good yeah my listeners you can try it and you can give us a feedback yeah. we'll be happy it's true mashallah. I mean it's worthwhile listening if you're listening out there it's worthwhile knowing that um, more than 70% of the world's population is allergic to milk 70% so there's a strong likelihood that if you're listening out there that you might be allergic to milk but not aware of it um, and if you are having some sort of health problems or issues, it's worthwhile just trying for a week or two weeks to see if it does make a difference. If it does make a difference, great. You've got an answer. If it doesn't make a difference, great too. You can go back to doing what you're doing or or not. At least you've tried. Um, and we can see with, with Ray McGee here that, um, you know, you look very happy. Oh, Ray yeah. McGee, so. oh, yeah. I am. Definitely. <laughs> I am. If I'm not happy, wallahi, I'm, we are in Ramadan. I will not be sitting here. But I'm happy. I'm definitely happy, mashallah. And let everyone try it. Everyone Wonderful. feel like that you need to go down, you know, try it, inshallah, and give us fever, uh, give feedback. Give it a try. Give That's all try, we're saying. Give it a try. If you're having some troubles out there and you're not sure what's going on, just give it a try for a week and hopefully 
uh, God willing, it might might benefit you. Ramat Ramatul uh, Ramatulai. Ramatulai. Sorry, I almost said it the other way. Ramatulai Ji, thank you once again so much You're for taking welcome. the time to talk You're to welcome. us. You're welcome. And I'm so happy that a brother of mine, a fever ready of brother of mine, will be happy to hear my voice, which is Imrano. <laughs> <laughs> I just spoke to him a moment or two ago, so he, so, will. he will. Hi, Imrano. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. You guys are welcome anytime I'm available. Thank inshallah. you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And when I reach my goal, I will let you know. Inshallah. We look forward to All it. Right. Thank you. Thank you.